The area now known as Lisbon, Maine, was first settled in approximately 1760 by a mill owner named Benjamin Whitney. Settlers flocked to this area based on the abundance of water power and timber. Many initial settlers worked with timber, while others had small farms and raised corn, grain, and a variety of animals. By 1800, several small water-powered sawmills and a woolen mill were in operation and a town was born. The town of Lisbon was incorporated as the town of Thompsonboro in 1799. In 1802, the name was changed to Lisbon. Soon, a variety of small wood mills and industries associated with wool and imported cotton began operation and over 100 homes in the general area had looms that made basic fabric from wool and cotton that were sold to the mills. This small mill industry continued to thrive until the very large expansion in the 1860s when the large brick Warumbo, Farwell, and Farnsworth mills were erected. These mills employed hundreds of workers. The large mills were also responsible for bringing a wide range of nationalities, including French, Slovak, and German families to the area and they each brought interesting customs and ethnic foods to the community. Lisbon has always been centered around community. Before the advent of television, there were several buildings, both in the Lisbon Village area and in the Lisbon Falls area, that had dance floors, and many also had a stage where they put on plays and musicals. Local groups had bands that put on recitals or marched in various parades. The Grange was prominent both in Lisbon Village and Lisbon Falls and was originally formed by farm families for both educational and family entertainment purposes. The mill industry continued as a prominent economic driver through the mid-20th century until the advent of new technologies in textile production made mills less commonplace. Although a 1987 fire took the majority of the buildings in the Warumbo Mill Complex, one major building still stands and remains ready for redevelopment. The Farwell Mill was successfully redesigned as a modern retail and residential facility. Today, Lisbon's economy is smaller but more diverse. Traditional industries like manufacturing and construction have leveraged new technologies to retain major roles in the local economy and are now complemented by a growing service sector as a source of employment and economic activity. Unique specialty retailers are beginning to dot the landscape, suggesting the coming revitalization of our traditional commercial districts. A small but committed agricultural community is ensuring that local farms will remain a valued part of Lisbon's 21st century economy. Nestled conveniently between the larger regions of Brunswick Topsom and Lewiston Auburn, Lisbon has grown into a supportive bedroom community that provides a short commute to numerous economic, social, and cultural opportunities. With a new elementary school and the high school undergoing renovation, Lisbon maintains a strong educational base. Lisbon also boasts a variety of picturesque outdoor recreational opportunities. Foremost is a popular four-mile system of walking and biking trails that connects the key areas of town, including a new stretch from the town's boat launch along the beautiful Androscoggin River to downtown. Beaver Park a 337-acre preserve of fields and ponds offers hiking, cross-country skiing, swimming, fishing, and other recreational opportunities for residents and non-residents alike. Community still defines much of life in Lisbon. The town's lineage with its English, French, Slovak, and German roots remains strong. 
civic groups and churches of all denominations continue to bring us together as they have for generations. Elsewhere, our calendar is full of community events throughout the year, including summer concerts, winter holiday celebrations, and most prominently, the three-day Moxie Festival. Since 1982, the town has been host to an annual celebration that brings over 40,000 visitors to our town to celebrate the nostalgia of yesteryear and the spirit of Moxie. We hope you have enjoyed this brief presentation on the past, present, and future of Lisbon. We encourage you to learn more about our town by contacting the Director of Economic and Community Development at 353-3000, extension 122, or by visiting our website.